everybody it's maya welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's free and it only takes one second so yes today i will be doing a mukbang on how i found out i was pregnant how i told my parents and how i felt and like my labor and delivery process and everything so today i will be eating the sweeties meal i had got everything that come with the meal i got fries my drink and i had got a big mac and a four piece also with sweet and sour and barbecue so yeah i'm gonna take everything out of the bag okay so as you all know some of y'all know but some of y'all don't I have two kids. The story I'm gonna be told today is the first kid story, your first pregnancy story. So y'all have to let me know in the comments if y'all wanna know about the second pregnancy. I had my first baby when I was 20. No. I had my first well, I found out I was pregnant when I was twenty and I had I had a baby at twenty one. She is a girl. She is two now. So I had her in um two thousand nineteen. And I got pregnant in two thousand eighteen, whatever. So um one day i had oh no let me start back one day i was exercising and i'm gonna post some pictures in here as y'all can tell i was skinny but i was exercising anyways just to like tone up and stuff anyways um when i was exercising i was doing sit-ups and it didn't feel right you know how you do sit-ups like when you exercise you know it don't supposed to feel good like it's supposed to hurt a little bit but like it was like a different type of hurt but I didn't think nothing of it so I just kept exercising and um days went by days went by um I had I was shaving down there and um I had got razor bumps but they was bigger than normal so I was just like what the heck so um yeah so the next day was it the next day or it was like two days after that i had went to work that same day and after i got off work i had went to the urgent care because um the bumps like they was bigger than normal so i had went to the urgent care because the bumps wasn't looking like they supposed to look so um I'm like, what the heck? So I went to the urgent care to make sure everything was good. So I get to the urgent care. <laughs> I check in. Um, so I was telling them what was going on. Like when I shaved, like the bumps was bigger than normal. And then um, uh, they was checking me and everything, asking me like, how many partners and all that stuff so i'm like i only slept with one person like my whole life i'm basically like so what's going on so they like um they made me go pee on um pee in the little cup so of course they gonna check for pregnancy i wasn't thinking of no pregnancy or nothing like i was thinking like something else was going on so um the lady came back and said, uh, congratulations, you pregnant. I mean, she came back and said, congratulations. I think she said, yeah, I think she just said, congratulations. So I laughed so hard in her face because I thought she was playing because I'm like, no way. Like, I was still in shock. She like, you can call around and, um, she would OB you on. I'm like, OB? Because I did not even know what an OB was, honestly. Because I didn't know nothing about pregnancy. So I'm just sitting there confused. I felt trifling. 
I feel so trifling leaving that doctor's office because I'm like, what the heck? I came here for another thing. And, and y'all sitting up here telling me this. So, they gave me my little positive test results. And I had scheduled me an appointment. Well, they gave me the results, and it had somebody else's name on it first. So, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm not pregnant because somebody's name was on the, somebody else's name was on the paper. I mean, it wasn't my name. So, I went to um, my doctor's office, like, to schedule the OB appointment. I went to schedule an OB appointment. And I gave them the, the paper stating that, that um stating that I was pregnant. And they brought it to my attention that it wasn't my name on there. So they made me test again at the um at the other doctor's office. And I thought I had a little hope right there, but I pee and they said, Yeah, you are pregnant. So I was still pregnant either way it went. So, um After that, I was still in shock. I just still, still felt like I felt real trifling. Yeah, I was pouring down outside. These big nights be wet. Yeah, I still felt trifling. Like the first person I told was my boyfriend, of course. He was shocked too. Like his reaction was like. His reaction was drier than mine because he like wasn't really saying nothing. I didn't want to tell nobody because for one, I was still shocked and also I was embarrassed honestly because it's like I was only um, 20 years old. Like I just got out of high school, graduated with my associate's degree. I just got certified in the states and it's just like I just get pregnant like I was just I was thinking about a lot like my future honestly I'm real selfish so I'm like what am I gonna do with a baby like when I was in high school and stuff like you couldn't pay me to come out the house bummy or looking crazy but it's like when you have a child like sometimes you have to like, I ain't gonna say just go out looking terrible, but sometimes you gotta just like go out without throwing nothing on. Um, like, and I was contemplating on like uh, abortion because I always was against abortions, but like when it happened to me, I'm like, I don't want no kids, so I don't know what else I'm gonna do with it. But yeah, I had a lot of thoughts on getting an abortion, but I did. I didn't. I was real scared to get one too. More terrified of keeping the baby. So, but I'm happy I did. And yeah, that's how I found out I was pregnant. Yeah, I was just surprised. I was still in shock. Like the whole pregnancy, like it didn't hit me until she was like. It honestly didn't hit me till she was like three months. Cause it still didn't hit me when she was born. I was just born with the flow, honestly. I didn't know what to feel or think. People kept telling me like, you look pregnant, you look pregnant, but I didn't believe it. So I'm like, no, I'm not like, I had, I really had like a gut feeling that I was, but it wasn't like, I wasn't really, I wasn't trying to believe that because I didn't want no baby at the time. And 
I just felt trifled. Like, I felt disgusted. Like, you know when you first... Yeah, I just felt trifled. It was just like a... It was just like a disgusting feel in my body because it's like I didn't want no baby right now and I was doing good on the right track and all the, I felt like a failure like I felt like I could have did better um, I should have made better choices but we're here now okay so I'm about to tell y'all how I told my mama. So, me and my mama was bumping heads at the time. So, um, I was, um, uh, I was just staying at her house and I wasn't really, I was just, I didn't tell her why I was staying at her house because we was already arguing. And I think that's why, because we was arguing a lot during my pregnancy. I mean, we was arguing a lot before I found out I was pregnant. I'm like, that's probably why we've been like getting into it so much because I, probably my stuff was changing, so like my attitude was bad, and so I didn't kill her while I was living in her house. So, um, like, let me see. I think it was like a month later that, um, yeah, it was about a month later that I had moved out and I got my first very first apartment so um and it was approaching what was it um it was near like thanksgiving and um it was approaching so i'm like dang i need to tell her so um, i think i told my sisters no I, I told her before everybody um, so I had called her on the phone because my mama would just be doing too much. I didn't want to feel it in person. So, um, I had called her on the phone and I'm going to insert some videos of me calling her. And I was so nervous. Like, I did not want to tell her. <laughs> I wanted my boyfriend to tell her for me. That's how bad it was. But, yeah, I'm going to insert some clips. Gonna do with me? What? Cause, dude, you. That's what I said. manifesting that in my life now let's move on to labor and delivery um so like towards the end of my pregnancy okay so my baby's supposed to be due on april 1st but i had her on april 3rd so she didn't come on april 1st but on april 3rd um I was having contractions in the uh, morning, 
Well, I didn't know if there was contractions or not because they really didn't hurt me. It just felt like uh, my stomach was hurting or something. Or like, um, just like, you know, like pain. I wouldn't say normal pain, but it just was like, it was bearable is what I'm trying to say. So my mom was there and they was monitoring my contractions and they was getting closer and closer together. And they was like, oh, you could have had a baby. I'm like, oh, okay. Cause I didn't feel nothing like, what's nothing like major. And I'm like, okay. So I went to the doctor's office because um, they said my contractions was getting closer. So I went to the doctor's office. I think it was like five something, like 5.30. I went to the doctor's office and this is in the afternoon. They checked me made sure everything was fine they uh put a little stuff over my belly to monitor the baby and hear the heartbeat and stuff so they checked me and they said i was dilated to five centimeters so i just got there and i was dilated to five centimeters so the contraction was getting stronger and stronger and um they had took me in another room well my actual where i was gonna have the baby at um, they had took me in there. The contractions was really, really. They was, the, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad because um, I was breathing through the contractions, and I had my boyfriend right there. Like I was squeezing his head, like I was squeezing his head and putting him in a headlock <laughs> so I could um, ease the pain and um that really helped and i didn't get any epidural so i did natural a natural birth and um she my daughter came at um it was 10 8 p.m and she was um seven pounds and four ounces um when she first got there um I wasn't crying or nothing like during like my pushing process or my like just contractions but somehow like when she came out I cried like it was weird I was just happy like it just felt like a relief like you know how you use the bathroom and you like release <laughs> that's how it felt like it just felt like it was just a relief so yeah they put her on my chest it just felt weird <laughs> I was like, dang, this is a, it was a weird and different feeling. And I was still shook, but yeah. That's pretty much it. She too now. And I have a newborn right now. He one month, so if you wanna hear about that story, comment down below because that's different. And also Comment down below what video you would like to see from me next. And yeah. Oh, let me try these nuggets for y'all. I'm acting like it should. If this is smoothie and sour. I wonder if this type of this another type of sweet and sour sauce or is this sweet and sour sauce this has got her name on it. Let me try this for y'all, like it ain't no McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all, if y'all let me know video ideas down below because I don't be knowing what to do or what type of content to create for y'all, so. Y'all gotta let me know down below. And yeah, this meal was straight. We just like some regular new dollars. <laughs> but I guess, I guess that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.